right. All right, this is what we've been waiting Sufka. for. Why don't you? How will we do this? Why don't you watch it? For, I mean, I know it's not a huge deal, like because you can't see hands and everything. No, so I can. Oh, then you take Zaizo's perspective. I'll take Stan Sifka's perspective. Okay. All right. So this is interesting because I am actually able to see their hands. This is why. This is why we have to do the delay because otherwise, exactly. like, if if we weren't able to see their hands, it wouldn't be a problem. We just would do it the way we do it. But unfortunately, that is not the case. We have Hermelian Elves versus Rage Rush. And the two decks that have been banned so far, I believe, if I'm watching this right, Zaizo has had his Hermelian Elves banned, and Stan Sivka has had his Advanced Daris banned. Mm -hmm. If I'm, I believe that's team, you know, who's, or which player has had what banned. So... We have already we're already seeing uh we're already seeing two Hermelian elves, which is I believe that was your pick, Fuzz, of what pretty much everyone will be bringing. Oh, it actually says what's been banned on the screen. Yeah, up in the oh, that's up awesome. right under the right under the whatchamacallit. I think I think that'll be something, even though there'll be more conquest tournaments, I think it's another, gonna be another one of those things that only the um official ones have? Yeah, well only that and only that only the um the hosts will be able to see. Oh, I see. Oh, that's great, actually. That's pretty good. So, anyways, the Hermelian Elves, the idea, the reason why Hermelian is even being used is for two reasons. Number one is Cavalry Field Captain, which gives Elves even more of a speed advantage than they already had. And second reason is Hermelian makes it very easy to push very large amounts of damage very quickly. Absolutely. The... There was a, um... There actually was a deck that I used to play, um, in a card game I used to play called Kaijudo, which anyone who knows uh, Duel Masters, which was a Japanese game for a while, that it was the remake of that game, and there's actually it's actually almost a remake of deck or the of a deck from Kaijudo because we had a, a creature with a similar ability to Hermelion. Let's see. We are Has uh, five minutes passed yet? I'm not hundred percent sure. Um because I'm not exactly sure when you started streaming. I'm bro I am but... I'm broadcasting again. But okay. I'm not seeing the uh I'll reload it. I'll see if it's if it if it, it's working properly. It, are we shown as online? Not, a, not that I can see at the moment. Again, um, I don't know if it's been five minutes. Um, again, I don't know when you started the stream, so I couldn't tell you. 300 Oops. second delay. That's, That's five that. minutes. Mm -hmm. By my math, it's definitely five minutes. Um, so. so why isn't it going yet? That's very strange. Oh, there we go. What? Was... What? There we go. Okay, okay, the games are finally showing now. So, okay, so this is gonna, actually going to be kind of weird. Because we're talking five minutes ahead of everyone else. Or like, you know, five minutes behind. So it's going to be a bit weird. So we can't interact with chat that much anymore, except for talking, as in typing in the chat. Because our responses will be five minutes late. Oh, and I just realized, I went flipping through who is, um, who's streaming right now. And I just kind of looked... Uh... A lot of people who are going to be like, "Oh, I'm just going to comment on stream on my or comment on the tournament on my stream," like Jodo, for instance, he's not going to be able to watch. Jodo can't spectate anything. Yeah, he's he not can going only to be able restream. To but it. then, I mean, why would they? They would just watch those games, I guess. Uh but but anyway, so Stan, I well, need to move the little Skype thing so that I can actually see people's life, lives, and everything. So Stan Sifka has a pretty dominant board position right now with Grove Guardian and a pair of Brothers in Arms. So he's threatening 10 damage with the Hermelian hero power. Yes. He retreats the Grove Guardian, which is very strange. I'm guessing he's afraid of Fire Blast, which would clear Ab his board. Absolutely it would. This is also why he's not committing another Grove Guardian. Oh, are you watching it from... I'm a, I mean, I can see Stan Sifka's hand. 
Okay, then let me flip over because um, I'm watching the wrong side then. Let me flip over and grab um, Zaizo's hand. Okay, Zaizo's, I'm looking at Zaizo's hand right now, and while he doesn't exactly have the most dominant board position right now, oh, he's got some, he's got some tricks up his sleeve. Okay, there's a Flame Serpent, which will clear the front board. I think, actually, Zaizo is in good shape. Absolutely. Because he, uh, Sansifka is behind on mana. He must have missed a Divine Offering. Oh, no, 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 he didn't, because Burning Rage ramped him up. That's why. Yes. So, um, Stan is going to have to decide whether or not he can afford to send back a Haldiri. He probably should send back the Ambush Strike, though. Okay. He gets the uh, Shrine, so he must play the Sharpshooter, I think, to catch up. The question is, will he put his Grove Guardians in the front? Because Fire Blast is a serious threat. Absolutely. It, it would absolutely knock him out of the game if his whole and board because, got cleared. And because of that, it's absolutely... I, I, oh, he does. He moves one of them? I think he might just move one to threaten a little bit more pressure. But I think that is going to actually pull. Zaizo does have a Fire Blast in hand. Um, and I think it's. I think he's just trying to bait out a Fire Blast right here on a 2-1 and, and what's going to be a 1-1 one, one at the end of his turn. And hope to just kind of bait out the Fire Blast so that he can then feel a little better about committing more creatures to the board. I'm also not showing us on the Twitch list right now. We are streaming, though. I mean, you, you can ah, see... You there can I see am. The there we are. There we are. There we are. It's... I had refreshed like two seconds ago and hadn't seen it, but now I do. So, anyways, so, um, we'll see. Zaizo plays the Fire Blast, which, the fire blast. which he might as well, because he just needs to draw into enough damage. Now, I don't... I haven't actually seen his deck list, so I do not know if he has Ram Gak. Oh, there's the burn. There's the massive assault. That's a card that I like to include in my Burning Rage deck because it draws you a card and it makes things like Gibbon, uh, not Gibbon Roni, Ram Gak extremely devastating. Do very much damage. However, he is down to ten life and taking continuous damage from the Burning Rage. So Stan Sivka doesn't need to deliver that much more damage to actually win the game. No, a Haldiri Rider plus Hero Power is 6 damage alone. And if he manages to put a Grove Guardian out and have the Grove Guardian stick around, that's another 4. So a Haldiri Rider actually kind of threatens lethal here. The other thing is, Zaizo, you say we haven't seen the deck list yet, we could. Um, but he, Zaizo is running Flameborn Incarnate in his deck. Hmm. Interesting. That, that reminds me of Jodo's list. It's possible yeah. that's where he got it. Well, let's see. Does the um, did the recommended deck list include Flameborn Incarnate? Let me see. The yes, Rage Rush that um, the devs sent to all the players included four Flameborn Incarnate, which is okay. interesting. So I didn't check. It makes some sense yeah. because an unanswered Flameborn can do like seven damage, which is pretty big deal. Yeah, the other thing about him is he's when you're when if you ever get stuck in a situation where you're top decking in a rate in a rage rush deck, which let's be honest, though that happens more often than rage players care to admit, <laughs> is they've got is he can drop and if he sticks around then all of a sudden all that mana that's usually going to waste is doing something. Well, at the moment, I think he should play the Haldiri because he has to contest the board. Because Massive Assault will be overwhelming if it attacks for this much damage. Absolutely. If he plays Haldiri, the Grove Garden will be a 3-3 and will actually be able to kill one of the Elves. And he should be able to clear up most of the damage. Like, Stan Sivka doesn't have to rush damage so much because uh, Zaizo's on a clock, essentially. And every Haldiri basically accelerates... Absolutely, and by like by by about three minutes. Stan Sivka is going to Stan Sivka is just go is going to be able to push five damage, six damage this turn that the Zaizo can do nothing about because they're all they're all what or they're all I'm sorry I got distracted by Twitch chat they're all speed three <laughs> so he could swing in for you know. He could have done six, six damage right now, but yeah, he could he have done six damage taking... that Zaizo couldn't do anything with. Although, absolutely, 
Very Dude. dangerous to do that, though. I think he's playing... This is the more careful approach, because he still has a board full of creatures, and Zyzo is the one who has to be the aggressor, because he's on the clock. And without a board, his damage potential is considerably reduced. Absolutely. Although a top deck Fire Blast from Zyzo might just throw him back in this game. Fire Blast would the... kill... Oh, there is the Fire Blast. There is a Fire Blast. But that only kills half the board. Unless he has True. a second one. Well, well, he doesn't have a second one, but he does have a fireball. And while fireballing goes, something with one health doesn't feel all that good, it's a play, especially if you're, Killing you know... Nienna might be the right call here, because Nienna gives Stan Sivka basically unlimited card draw, kind of. Yeah, just a little bit. Although, that is a call of Jayala at the, on the top of Stan Sivka's deck. Which is bad news because he oh never mind flame serpent goes to battle and he swings a flame in for serpent eight. swings in for yep for eight damage, so he knows Stansifka's got no cards in hand and he all yeah he's got um, Stansifka's got the Nienna. I think that fireball is going to be a lot better for just pointing it at the face because now with the fireball. Zyzo's only got to find three other damage with the uh, goblin on the board. Although the elf warrior does contest the um, the goblin immediately. Yes. But Brothers in arms. This is a, a tough position, actually. This is where they have to calculate damage specifically because Stan Stansifka has to anticipate that Zyzo has fireball in hand because he's been drawing cards consistently. Exactly. And so and he can... He probably has to kill the goblin. That said, he may... I mean, he may be hoping for a Haldiri top deck as well. Uh, what's he got? Not only a land on top. So let's see. If he draws that land, if anything good will be on top. Trying, not land. <laughs> and now he gets Outbreak, which is also bad for him. Because Outbreak... Well, he basically was hoping for an elf that he could play off the top and essentially refill the board. Now, putting Nienna on the front is a good decision. Probably just to absorb the damage. Right now, Stan Sivka is just going for just the last bit of damage. Now, you notice he uses his hero power just to accelerate he... the clock. I wonder if he's going to use the hero power. No, I wonder if he's uh, oh, he kills just the about to say he's, he got in for the damage and he's going to trade. So he's going to kind of get the best of both situations there. But he does have one card in hand, which I believe... Was that a call of Jala, um, Jayala? No, he currently only has a shrine, and he's got the outbreak on top, which means he can't really put anything on the board. Well, good news for Stan Sivka. It'll be, uh, well, the, oh, fireball, the draws fireball. Him, fireball draws him a shrine, so he's got just the ooh, double flameborn, which is threatening lethal, but That's it's That's very dangerous. But it's not lethal this oh, turn. Oh, nice it's... top deck by Stan Sivka. The Sharpshooter takes care of one Flameborn unconditionally. And then the Outbreak will take care of the other one. So Stan Sivka is still in the game. Yeah. Barely. It's too... Very barely. It's too bad he couldn't uh, hero power this turn too. Because then Ambushing Sharpshooter would have wiped the board. Yep. Oh, a Flamebrand go uh, Goblin. Really? That's interesting. Uh, for Zyzo. Yeah. It's... Definitely looking... It's to be used with uh, Gibbo and Ronnie for massive burst damage, basically. You play yeah, those absolutely. two with massive assault, you got nine burst damage coming in. And again, Stan Sivka can only stop one creature from attacking. He will obviously stop the Flameborn because that can basically kill him right now. Yeah. The Flameborn incarnate alone is lethal. The Flamebrand Guard Goblin gives him the potential for more bursts down the road. But he absolutely could, in theory, attack with both of them and just you know, force the the outbreak from Zyzo's Well, the outbreak hand, is or... forced regardless because the Flameborn alone threatens lethal. So he ha so Stan Sivka will have to outbreak that Flameborn for sure. Oh, I know. It's just a matter of whether or not he plays um, Flamebrand. Oh, he plays wow. the other Burning Rage. You want to oh. talk about going all in. Yeah, he's dead to one attack right now. He so Stan Sivka has to outbreak right now. Zaizo uh, intelligently waits for Stansifka to react, therefore not wasting any mana. However, he's dead to a Haldiri Rider. He's dead to... Yeah, he's dead to any creature that he, can He attack. has two blockers, so he can block. But yeah, he's definitely... I was just about to say, he could be dead to 
I mean, Stan Sifka's got the Elven Sanctuary on, or the native soil off cooldown this mm, turn. That's a weak top deck by Stan Sifka. Grove Guardian is just too small of a body to really do anything. But it is a chump blocker, although he not much of a chump blocker in the sense that Zyzo can... Uh, I, I it, think Stan Sifka has to kill the Flameborn. Absolutely has but to kill But he might not have the choice, actually, because presumably uh, Zyzo will block the attack with his Fire Blend. Th that depends on whether or not he has other goblins. He doesn't. So now Stan Sifka is forced to play the Grove Guardian to block the Flameborn, and he's dead to any removal, basically. Absolutely. And we'll see what Zyzo is able to top deck. Top decks a Lizard Barbarian, followed by a Fireball. Oh, there you go. But yeah, I knew um, the Fireball is definitely lethal, but the, the, uh, the Ring of Fire rendered the Grove Guardian irrelevant. And that's why Flameborn is in the deck, because it alone can just deliver so much damage. Like, look at that. It's doing 9 damage right now. Yeah, he absolutely has... It absolutely gives Rage Rush some crazy reach. So that was quite a game, I have to say. They okay. So now Zyzo is playing his other deck, which is most likely going to be zombies. Probably the Tombs of the of the Damned variant, based on right. the basic Nefaros which he picked, which works well with the zombies because. The, the way to make the zombies good is you play the Necromancer, which gives them all deadly, and then you can slow down your opponent's creatures, which will allow your deadly zombies to... Deadly, by the way, for those who are not familiar, is basically like the poisoned effect from Hearthstone, and that it deal, any damage it deals to a creature will kill it. Yes. Or Death Touch from... Death, or, yeah, those, Death Touch from Magic. So for those of you who played Magic the Gathering, the, the only downside is even with Touch of Nausea... Um, basic Nephros's ability is sometimes the elves being three speed is are just still too fast for the um, yes. zombies to deal they to also be have able to, to hit. rely on the other creatures now there's the survivor one of Absolutely. the most important creatures for the zombies because it's the only three speeder they actually have the other thing about it is while the recommended deck list for um, the tournament doesn't actually have hands from beyond it can, sometimes hands from beyond can absolutely be what puts you in the game against Hermelian elves it can be really just for lack of a better or if you mind the pun it can stop elves in their tracks it can but the problem with hands from beyond has always been that it's kind of slow it's not a card you can play four of in your deck Maybe no, two. No, absolutely not. But it's uh, here comes the sharpshooter. But will he? Will Zyzo block here? If it depends. If he has consumed spirit, he will not block because he can kill both creatures in that case with his survivor. If he blocks, that means he doesn't have it and just wants more presence. Right now, Zyzo is showing the only removal Zyzo has right now is a noxious fumes in his hand. He's got Noxious Fumes, a Flesh Sculptor, and the Tombs of the Dam. That's why, okay, so that's why he blocked this, because this increases his board presence. He will most likely Noxious the Sharpshooter, and then just keep going face. Most Top likely, he, he should probably go for the mana, because he will not be playing Tombs this turn anyways. Ooh, he plays the Zombify the, Hero Power. Yep, the Haunted Cemetery. Which is good, but he cannot use it, unfortunately, yet, because that Hero Power requires... Two Got a rotting remains fumes. and the noxious fumes, so yes. showing. And I can seven tell you, Stan Sifka's hand is really bad right now. It is very bad. He has two and ambush strikes, four shrines, and a brothers in arms. That sadly is what happens when you play um, a Hermelian deck. It can just—it's a lot like Hearthstone Rogue. It can, it can, it has the potential for some really crazy burst but also has the potential to just draw really badly. He plays the Brothers in Arms. The problem is he can't protect them with Ambush Strike. No, he cannot. And if he were to... If Zyzo were to top deck a, a Noxious Fumes here, then... <laughs> let me put it this way. If he was able to top deck a Noxious Fumes... Or consume. If, Either card will be well, crushing yeah, right now. He would also... Um, if he went up to two levels, he could also... Um, drop a flesh sculptor into play but top decks into a, a shrine 
So, so he's going to play the control game, as in just yeah. trade his... Not the control game, the board control game. He could attack all out, but in that case, both of the brothers would be able to block and essentially be traded off. Whereas this way, only only one of Zyzo's creatures dies. He probably exactly. should play the tombs, because that will give him big board presence. But I bet you that's... I wonder what... I bet you Zyzo is pondering whether or not he should drop the tombs this turn, which... Nope, he goes for the flesh, flesh sculptor. sculptor. Be, he goes for the flesh sculptor because it turns the rotting remains into a zombie. And he's going to get another zombie from the from that hero power. So he's playing Absolutely. my version of the deck, which runs the flesh sculptors instead of succubi. Yes, he's definitely going for the swarm. So this is so, going to be pretty hard to deal with for Stan Sivka. Absolutely, and the Flesh Sculptor moves to the back row where she's nice and safe. Basically completely unkillable. I yeah, think Stan I, Sivka I, is finished here. He's he's facing down 8 damage every turn. His and, only defense here is the Ambush Strikes, but they won't hold for long. No, and Zyzo has the Tombs of the Damned in his hand, so yeah. these zombies, even if he clears these zombies, more are coming. More and are unless, coming, yeah. And unless Stan Sivka is teching the uh, Venerated Unicorns, there's going to be no end of the zombies. I would be kind of shocked, actually, if he played that card. Because it's it's a bit too specific. Because Tombs is generally not that big of a problem. It's just that... <laughs> the, um... But yeah, he... I got, I'm sorry, I kind of I lost my train of thought there for a second. It's funny how he's got how Zaizo has three token zombies and one regular zombie in his oh, in his hand. Oh, he does play Succubus. Zaizo does play Succubus. But um, it's very in uh, very interesting. But yeah, I mean, venerated the other thing that venerated unicorn could be teched in for. And it is something that Hermelian Elves has a real trouble dealing with, is vampirism. Oh, uh, yes. Vampirism because they can't deal with the healing. Exactly. So, I mean, I've seen a couple Hermelian decks with unicorns teched in. Usually, they play fewer, if if um, and sometimes none or no... Um, Nienna as well because obviously it's it, you know playing the unicorn means that they have fewer hits but the but the lists I've seen that compensate for the lack of Nienna with calls of um, July uh, July that one the, the call card Jalaya um because it lets you search, like if your opponent drops a vampirism, you can then search the venerated unicorn with it and drop it and kill it, kind of uh, the kind of deal. But Zyzo is absolutely overwhelmingly threatening lethal on board. Doesn't throws his <laughs> uh, throws his flesh sculptor in the front row, saying, "If you want to kill her, by all means, I don't care." And unbeknownst to Sansifka, Zyzo is holding on to the succubus for the extra three damage so even if even if Zyzo or um Zyzo loses his board to the point where he loses like uh, only has three zombies left uh Zyzo still has lethal yeah I don't Pretty see much... how he can get out of this it's just too many bodies to deal with oh yeah you um you try and overrun your opponent with Hermelian, but when Hermelian gets overrun himself, I mean, this is, this what, is why do. I've included Path in my in, in in the version that I run because Path essentially allows you to build up a lethal combo. Now, in this case, Path Path might not have even been helpful because uh, Zyzo got a really good draw with his. He had you know the Noxious Fumes. He had the Infected Survivor. He had the Sculptor as well. He just got so many zombies. Yeah, yeah. extensive coverage.